You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we are out and about for our regular Coast Guard slot and we're on uh, Minster Cliffs and it's in an area where I think um, your yeah. colleagues and you often do practice um, yeah. rescues yeah, as yeah. well. We're actually at, uh, well, uh, good evening everyone, uh, it's Ian Goodwin here from Her Majesty's Coast Guard. Yes, this is uh, one of our practice areas, Royal Oak Point. Uh, we sometimes do uh, practice our cliff rescue from here, uh, primarily because a couple of our colleagues uh, live nearby and we can catch a cup of tea while we're doing it. But as you can see, it's a lovely day. And um, if you look at, if you look to to the sort of west, Daniel, you can actually see Minster Lees, and right over into the distance, you can see Canvey Island. And then coming over to the east, we can actually see the wind farms. So if you look at this particular area, it gives us a very good. Uh, well, basically, a 180-degree panoramic view of what's going on. So it's also a, a, an area where we can come up and uh, land helicopters and also, uh, you know, view what's going on in terms of uh, uh, Ma Majesty's Coast Guard. And, and basically, the Coast Guard service is made up of volunteers, which is part of Her Majesty's Coast Guard. And what we do is we help rescue people trapped on the coast, such as cliffs, stuck in the mud or in the water, search for missing persons, report and deal with pollution and other hazards, help emergency services and local authorities during emergencies, gather information for Coast Guard Operations Centre, which is primarily in, in Dover now, go to schools, clubs and other public places to tell people about staying safe at sea and along the coast. And we also carry out duties for the receiver of wreck, i.e. dealing with wreckage or dead whales and dolphins and porpoises on the shoreline. And I think it's safe to say that over the last uh, two or three months we've virtually dealt with every one of them those on on Sheppey and um, we as a rescue officer we we can be called out at any time of day or night uh, we may have to work in hazardous situations for long hours and we may have to carry out physically demanding tasks i.e for example carrying heavy equipment to rescue sites and uh, we we do this as, as volunteers and it do, it is quite physically demanding at times uh, i mean i've recently and and so is the uh, uh, my colleagues we've just been recently rebadged on on the uh, on cliff exit on cliff uh, uh, rescues and mud rescues and um, mud rescues for me at my age uh, touching 60 is particularly arduous uh, walking out into the mud um, so you know we do this as volunteers we've all got full-time jobs and we work for the maritime and coast guard agency uh, which is the executive which is an executive arm of the department of transport um, which obviously reports to to the government um, we're given training and equipment uh, any any new volunteer uh, can can uh, we will give initial training it takes about a year to do that training it include first aid map work search techniques communications skills you need for your local area such as rope rescue mud rescue water rescue uh, which is what we do and uh, training is often held in the evenings or at week weekends and we're all given uh, equipment and uh, protective clothing so you need to be reasonably fit we do actually have a uh, vacancy at this moment in time uh, more of which later I'll give you some details of who to contact in relationship to that. We are out and about we're on the uh, Minster Cliffs and uh, we're joining Ian there all as part of our regular Coast Guard slot with Ian and uh, we're in one of the areas where the Coast Guards often do practice rescues and some training. So we are out and about, we're uh, on Minster Cliffs in an area where the Coast Guards do some practice rescue. So I thought as we're in the uh, summer, we're getting good weather at the moment, I'd join in on an about and about interview as part of our regular slot. Um, what did you want to cover next, Ian? Yeah, I'll probably do some safety advice, actually, because it is a nice day today. There'll be a, quite a few people going out. And uh, if you've already, you probably noticed that there are lifeguards on duty through the RNLI. They're situated at Sheerness Beachfront, at Minster Lees, and it lays down on sea. And I can actually just see uh, the, uh, the RNLI hut from here, which is uh, situated on the Minster Lees. And if you are going to go swimming, make sure you're as safe as possible and find a beach with a lifeguard. Um, you can always ask the lifeguard about conditions in the water 
how like how strong the waves are or where it's safe to s swim and they'll also provide help if you get into difficulty in the water or into the beach now the royal national lifeboat institution the rnli patrols more than 100 beaches in the uk during the summer months may to september's and councils also provide lifeguards on some beaches um there are, there, there, i mean you really just need to pay attention to the safety flags on the beach when you're on the beach pay attention to those flags and signs they give important information about the area you're in like uh, whether it's safe to swim the beach is good for surfing or using pleasure crafts like yachts and there are hazards in your area now there are a red and yellow flag um, and if you go to Minster Lees or any of those other beaches I've just mentioned, if you see a red and yellow flag, then that's actually marking out the areas which are patrolled by lifeguards. And these are the safest place to swim or using a bodyboard. If you re see a red flag, these indicate danger. Never enter the water when the red flag is flying. And black and white checkered flags, these mean that the area is safe for watercraft like surfboards and kayaks. So basically, that's what you need to look out for if you're going for a swim off the north coast of Sheppey. Look out for those lifeguards, swim within the yellow and orange flags, and that's the safest part to do so. We are out and about here at the Monday Night Community Show. We're up on uh, Minster Cliffs, and we're talking to Ian Goodwin, all as part of the regular um, Coast Guard slot I do with Ian. So we are continuing to talk to Ian out and about uh, in Minster on the cliffs and I think you want to do a little bit more safety. Yeah, I mean, you don't actually see them on Sheppey but there are sometimes you might go to beaches where you see an orange windsock and if you see an orange windsock flying it means there are dangerous wind conditions and you should never use an inflatable boat or toy when the orange windsock is flying. You could get swept out to sea. Now as Majesty's Coast Guards we, we always say don't you use inflatables but if you insist on using a inflatable with your children uh, make sure it's actually tied uh, or a responsible adult is there and it's actually tethered to the adult or some other fixing uh, on, on the on the actual shoreline other signs on the beach make sure you read and obey all safety signs which you see at the entrance to the beach these signs give information about what you can and can't do on the beach and if you are having a day out with the children, make sure you know where your children are at all times. Agree a meeting point in case they become disorientated. And, um, you know, just, just be mindful that they do like uh, the water and they can actually go off wandering on their own. And clearly check the weather. It's a lovely day today. And check the tides. Uh, we've had a, a couple of people, uh, we've had some uh, incidences where people have been cut off by the tide already this year. And... Um, uh, we would be hard doing a big safety campaign because in, in July and August time uh, we had something like uh, over 120 people drowned last year so we've been doing a lot of safety advice this year in relationship to that and um, uh, it, you know it, it, it's, it's fact, of, fact of life people will get into difficulty uh, so just be very mindful of where you're swimming and make sure you're on a lifeguarded beach. We are out and about here at the Monday Night Community Show with Ian Goodwin as part of our regular Coast Guard slot and we're up on Minster Cliffs and we joined Ian there as um, it's an area where uh, the Coast Guards often do some practice rescues and uh, it's the summertime so we thought we'd join him out and about this time. So we are out and about, we're talking to Ian Goodwin as part of the regular Coast Guard slot I do, out and about up on uh, Minster Cliffs and uh, I think it's time to do some incidents now. Yeah, I think um, what I'll do is I'll just focus on about four or five incidents which just highlight some of the aspects of the work we do. The first one was at the very beginning of July where two girls uh, got cut off by the tide at uh, Minster Lees. Um, they actually thought the land was sinking under their feet. It was, it was actually the tide coming in, yeah. which was, uh, and, and they nearly got caught out. And it was, it was very fortunate the lifeboat was launched and they had to rescue uh, three, in fact, because one went out to try and rescue them. And uh, three people were actually rescued that day and they were very, very fortunate they didn't drown. And, and, and on that first week, on the Thursday at four o'clock, we were tasked to the Minster Shingle Bank again following a report of two kayakers in difficulty uh, both managed to return to the shore and we gave safety advice uh, in, in relationship to what they should be doing and how they should do it I kayak but uh, I certainly don't go out too far and always wear a life jacket and I'm always mindful of the tide conditions when I do go out on Saturday the 8th of July 
In the evening, we were tasked to lay down beach following a report of a 4x4 vehicle stuck in the mud, which was trying to recover a jet ski. The vehicle was unable to be recovered, and it was eventually covered by the tide. Um, unfortunately, it, it does cost the local council to actually get that out because it's a pollution hazard because it's got uh, this particular one would have had diesel on board. But, you know, if you do take a 4 by 4 vehicle out onto soft sand, you are going to sink. And once you sink, you're not going to retrieve that unless you've got some specialist equipment to get that vehicle out. Um, and during that evening at 8 o'clock, we were retasked to Hu Marina to assist the Medway Coast Guards and the South End Hovercraft to recover casualties from a vessel that had gone aground. And uh, uh, the, 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 they were actually recovered by the, uh, the hovercraft and then placed into the Sheerness lifeboat and then who returned them to the marina. And moving on to August, at the very beginning of August, on Saturday the 5th of August, we were, we were tasked in, early in the morning uh, to reports of a missing person in the Rochester area. Now we took an, un, uh, an extensive search of the River Medway in the Rochester area with no trace and as we were about to uh, extend the search the missing person was found and we were contacted by Kent Police and, and to advise that the, persons were, the person was found fit and well and we were stood down. And, and moving right up to uh, this week virtually on Tuesday at half past uh, seven, sorry, half past five in the afternoon, we were tasked to two vessels which had gone aground at Minster Lees. Um, there was a concern that they were in difficulty. They weren't in difficulty. They were in no danger at all. They had actually deliberately grounded and they're allowing their children to sort of go out on a couple of kayaks. And all we'll say is if you do ground your vessel, you know, just get in contact with the Majesty's Coast Guard to let you know that you're OK. Otherwise, it will prompt a, a search by us. And that's basically it in terms of the incidents. We are at the moment out and about. We're uh, up on Minster Cliffs and we're talking to uh, Ian Goodwin, all as part of our regular Coast Guard slot here at the Monday Night Community Show. So we are out and about. We've been talking to uh, Ian Goodwin up on the Minster Cliffs, all as part of our regular slot we do with Ian. Um, before we finish off, you mentioned a little bit about you were um, looking for... Um new people to join yeah, the Coast Guard. Yeah, we, are. Yeah, we um, do have a, a vacancy and I think the best thing to do is if you if you email me uh, and I can pass your details on to the to the relevant or, uh, person um, the my, my email is Ian Goodwin that's I-A-N G-O-O-D-W-I-N Ian Goodwin at line1.net well, Ian, I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time out, and it's been nice to do an out and about interview. It is, once. it's lovely. It's just nice that we've caught the weather just at the right time. The blue skies, um, probably in about three hours, it'll, we'll be drenched. Probably will be. <laughs> okay, thank you. Ian, as always, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Daniel.